sat down with a woman who also knew Elvis well. She was actually engaged to him and the very last person to see him alive. Well, now she has written a fascinating tell-all book about their romance and the King's final hours. The last thing Elvis said to me, uh, I told him not to fall asleep in the bathroom, and he said, I won't. Um, and he turned, gave me a little wave, walked into the bathroom, and I found him a little while later. It was a devastating day. Ginger Alden writes that she found Elvis on the floor and that, quote, his legs were bent, the upper part of his chest and shoulders touched the ground, and his head was slightly turned to the left with his cheek resting on the floor. Then she says, quote, I gently raised one eyelid. His eye was staring straight ahead. The night the king died, Ginger and Elvis were making plans for their future. He had given her this ring. She was 20, he was 42, and they'd known each other for just nine months. When he walked in the room, I always joke and say, I thought trumpets would sound to alert his entrance into the room. But he, he was a gorgeous man. Presley officially died of a heart attack, but did drugs play a part? I started noticing, I believe it was in, in Las Vegas in the beginning, um, packets being left, left for him. Um, and I was surprised when he was at home um, that packets would also be left to help him sleep. Uh, and, and I confronted him with it eventually and said, you don't really need that. And because one night I saw him go to sleep without taking a packet. And he said, you don't understand, I need it. Alden says the drugs led to sudden mood swings that could turn violent. And Elvis and Ginger out now, she writes that once after leaving a conversation, quote, Elvis stormed into the room with a wild look in his eyes. He open-handedly struck me on my side, but that wasn't who Elvis was. I was trying to help him, and he had been drinking a lot of papaya juice, and he had a problem with fluid retention and bloating, and uh, when I mentioned it, he wasn't too happy about it. Alden says she didn't fear Elvis, but she believed his love of guns and his mood swings were a dangerous combination. Yeah, we were reading together, and uh, the toilet was making a noise. Elvis got up, left the room, came back with a machine gun, and proceeded to shoot the toilet.